principal secretaries, um, the executive director of um, ID for Africa, and all the delegates who are here today, allow me to give you a warm welcome to the city of Nairobi. Karibuni sana. Um, allow me to say a few things. One, you're in the right place. I don't think there'd be a better place to have this function, number one, than in Kenya. In 1984, one Kamuya Kimeu, along the banks of uh, the Nairokotome River, found the earliest fossil of humankind, called the Turkana boy. Meaning, all of you are coming home to find your identity, before you look at gadgets of identity for Africa. So, where better to have this conversation than back at home? So, welcome home. Number two, Nairobi is the silicon savannah of the continent. Nairobi is a place that's a hotbed of innovation. Our young people have led the way and have you know, blazed the trail when it comes to technology. And so this is the right place for us to have the confluence of digital solutions to identity. As a county government, we, have, we are, I think, the second on the continent to start a physical addressing and street naming uh, system that is on GIS. And I'm sure, because I've gone around and picked a lot of the brochures, a lot of the solutions, many, many of which are for national governments, also will make sense to us as subnational governments. As I've had the presentations before me and seen what is going on, I listened to His Excellency, our President, when he spoke to the Pan-African Parliament in South Africa. Identity is more than just documents and gadgets. Identity is who we are. The documents and the gadgets and the tools that we're talking about only give expression to that. But we must ask ourselves this today, as this new generation of leaders grapples with this. Are we just 1.4 billion people stuck within 30 kilometers square, or is there something that defines us as Africans? Once we know what that is, because identity gives us dignity, identity puts us at the right place on the global table, but we cannot claim that space if we don't know first who we are. First, the identity as Africans, and then our identity as citizens of our nations. It's a very liberating idea. And I hope that we will move beyond the hardware and the software to the real questions around what Africa is, around what our nations represent, around what the imaginary lines drawn by the colonialists mean to us today. Are we embedding the separation or using those as bridges towards each other? Finally, enjoy Nairobi. Nairobi is the only city in the world where, just behind you, you will be enjoying animals in their most natural, unspoilt, untouched habitat with the skyline of the capital city.